Next up, we've got a question from Tracy, and that this is about summer sandals and slides, tips and tricks not to cut off our ankles and shorten our legs, but really provide great support. So we've got some of our favourite brands for support here, don't we, Christy? Yes, because um, there was a request for um, orthotics or orthotic friendly shoes or shoes with good support in them. So I've pulled from um, our favourites, Baird Footwear. Um, there's also some slides and sandals from Rolly Nation. And the top two on that end column there, on the right hand end column, are from Peter Shepherd. And the bottom dark um, chocolate brown ones are from Naturalizer. So all very friendly on the feet shoes, which we're all very grateful for. Um, the theory goes exactly the same as on our body. If we want to lengthen and we want to complement anywhere on our body, what loves us but diagonal lines. Um, we want as many diagonal cross, um, crossovers and things like that rather than band, horizontal um, bands. So you can see here all of these options have a V at the front of the foot, not an, around the ankle strap. Even those top uh, tan ones from Peter Shepherd, they actually look like they're straight across their knots. They actually go on an angle across the foot and around at the back. So all of those shoes, instead of cutting us off and creating blocks in our leg um, and our ankle, will give us that angled line and design. Same as in a garment, if we want it to, that's why we do a half tuck. We want to interrupt a horizontal and add in a diagonal. So always looking, I do fee for sandals and um, a lot of shoes, even in ankle boots. I've done one in a previous style clinic on ankle boots. We want diagonal lines where we can um, add them. I particularly love those rolly pan ones at the bottom there. They do have a back strap. The top two are just slide options, but that bottom uh, pair have a back um, sling back um, sandal option there. I particularly love the um, bed footwear ones. I've had my eye on these for a very long time. Um, they're quite rebellious, Relax Natural. Um, you can see I've got a variety of different style personalities there, Relax Natural, Classic, um, Creative and Dramatic in the blue and the print, the black and white print. So looking, I, I do quite, I was actually surprised with those Naturalizer ones. Mm -hmm. I have, I think they're quite snazzy too. And they've got that slight lift, um, but they're a wedge espadrille. So still would give you that support, not um, too much height there. So get on and practice looking for those diagonal lines in your shoes and they will give you that length and elongation you want. And I know as well, um, these come in a few different colours as well, don't they? they come I think in they a come lot in some different beautiful colours, black, and things yeah. like that too. I've um, got a set in your style for those ones too, Fee. Okay, we'll so pop, pop those, those ones. And we'll pop it in the Facebook group as well, which will be great. Um, and Christy, you mentioned something else to think about in terms of these, and that's in terms of scale of straps. Do you want to talk to that a little bit? Sorry, yes. Thank you for that reminder. So like anything, uh, like any garments we and, and accessories, we have to think about strap scale although also dependent on style personality. Um, so a feminine might go for your sort of more smaller scale strap or small to medium scale, but dramatics creatives again can go for those really wide, um, chunky kind of looks there. Um, but always remember your scale. Medium, as we always say, is kind of that safe space. If you're a large scale, you can go down to medium. If you're a small scale, you can go up medium. Mediums can sort of dabble around large or small, depending on their style personality, depending on just how big or small those scale straps are. So don't forget your scale in terms of the straps too. And not just straps, but buckles and fixtures and things like that when you're looking. And that's so true. Like now, once I actually figured that out, I used to have a real problem with getting sandals. Now, this is probably TMI. I remember that shopping trip. I know. How trip. annoying was I? <laughs> We're particular. Not annoying. Did I find a pair? No, I still didn't okay. find a pair. But, okay, so this is TMI, which I've learned um, from my son, is TMI. Um, so what I, what I realised, and this is a lesson about scale, so I have long skinny toes, right? 
and you know their toes and like I play the violin or I used to play the violin I could literally play the violin with my toes they're that long and skinny like so they're almost like finger toes oh we had a discussion about this before didn't we what do we call the finger toes can't remember anyway I've got finger toes there's toe cleavage but there's toe cleavage as well (laughs) but that was the thing I noticed because the scale of my foot and the, you know, having small skinny toes, and I'm sorry that these people who have foot <laughs> issues are not enjoying this yeah, la, example. La, la. <laughs> um, but the width of the straps and the scale of the straps does make such a difference. So for me, trying to do any of these, it looks really, really weird because I've got these little weird finger toes <laughs> coming out the end, right? So okay. you have something a little bit more covered feet, perhaps. Well, <laughs> I, and I, and I still, strap. but I can't, and I can't do just a single thin strap. You know those single thin straps mm. because that's too small scale. So it's about thinking that you know I need to have lots of straps or lots of crossover. One, they need to be smaller, but there has to be a few of them so that my finger toes don't look weird. So anyway. It's a bit Unless too much, Sherry. Please, <laughs> <Pay his> finger toes. <laughs> Love it. So I should probably show an example of that one day. But, you know, <laughs> everyone wants to see a photo of your feet. <laughs> I'll have but, the, like I'll do a pedicure and stuff. Let's um, bring it back to the theory and illustrate. See how important it is to stick to your theory, <laughs> even right down to your little finger toes. That's right. <laughs> I'm going, I'm going to do some slides on it and I'll say turn away if you don't want to see toes because I know some people have a real issue with toes okay anyway okay oh dear you're funny <laughs> so let's get I hope on. there's I've put the um, link to that set in the chat to feed if you're keen I think I might have to go and explore those naturalizer ones see mm-hmm. I really want to wear those but I just know my finger toes won't work Never know, they might be hidden a little bit. Maybe. <laughs> <Kind of strap. laughs> Maybe I'll get them, take a photo and show everyone what not to do with big photos. <laughs>